Good morning. Good day. Esther's crown prayer wall. Good morning. Good day. God's blessings. God's richest blessings. Thank you, Jesus. God's richest blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, amen and amen. Good day. Good morning. God's blessings. God is good. He's faithful. His mercy endures forever. His mercies are new every day. His compassion fails not. Great is his faithfulness and loving kindness towards us. His word says that it's his goodness, his kindness that draws us to repentance. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. I just saw the notification come across my phone. It takes a while. I've literally been on for like two or three minutes, and I just saw the notification come across. So I don't know if anyone's on yet, but... And I don't know what the delay is in that. I'm not sure why it takes longer for the notification to come across, but... Well, good morning, good day. I'm waiting to see if anybody got that notification. It just came on my phone, like just a few seconds ago, which I've been on for quite a few minutes, so I'm not sure why why the delay. Technology. Let me make sure I'm on. Hold on, hold on one minute. Let me just make sure that I'm on. Okay, we are on. My apologies. I wanted to make sure we were on because it's, it just showed that notification. It was delayed for some reason. So God's blessings. Thank you. Be blessed of the Lord. Good morning. God's blessings. Good day. My apologies. That notification did not come across until I was already on for like two, three minutes. So I don't know what that delay is, but we'll just keep praying to God that all this stuff smooths itself out. I heard a minister last night, or yeah, I think it was yesterday. I was listening to somebody's live. They were live, and he said that he saw he's he's supposed to have a very strong prophetic gifting. Come here, come here, Katie. Sorry about that, guys. Um, he said that he saw in his um eyes to be able to see in the Lord in his spiritual eyes he said that he saw there's a day coming that um, we're not going to be able to get on the internet we're not going to be able to do what we're doing and that there's going to be there already is but there's going to be more total like electric electricity shutdowns and stuff where they're able to control that a little bit more I mean I pray that that doesn't happen um, but he says it's coming and not just him there's been others that have said in the spirit that they've seen stuff like that. They've seen famine coming. They've seen governmental control coming, persecutions coming, um, control on the internet use. Um, for us as Christians, the churches, the internet, um, for us just to, as people that like our electrical just cut off for like hours and stuff. So. You know, we're going to pray against that today because I, I'm hearing it. I only heard, I heard it yesterday, but I've heard other little things before yesterday. And again, if God is showing it and saying that it's inevitable, then I understand that. But if he's showing it for us to pray against, I understand that too. Either way, we want to be prayed up and ready. I know something that God said to me that I will share with you. When he talked about um, different things that were coming, even with the COVID and people losing jobs and everything, the Lord put a word on my heart that the people of God will bless the people of God. So it will be, the, the wealth will be put into our hands to be a blessing to the, to the people. So we'll be able to bless one another like a big family. All right, so we're going to read Psalms 117 and then we're going to pray. 
Psalms 117, it's kind of funny. I just noticed it's only two verses. I was kind of glancing through the Psalms today to see if I could go back into some Psalms, and I came across Psalms 117, and i got to be honest, I didn't know there was a Psalm in there that was only two verses. I, this is so short. I, I've probably read it as 116 or 118. <laughs> oh, Jesus Lord. Psalms 117. Praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles. Applaud him, all ye peoples. For his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. So, Father, we thank you for your promises. We thank you for your word, for your plans, God. As we started this prayer um, fellowship today, we talked about what's being said by different prophetic voices and by dreamers and, and those who have eyes to see in the Spirit, saying that there's times coming, God. There's some hard times of famine and, um, and different things that are going to come, God. Control, shutdowns, internet uh, interruptions, different things like that. God, we pray your mighty hand upon everything that belongs to us upon our health, our resources, our finances, our family, your plans in our life, your provisions, God, the very breath we take, we pray your mighty hand that you hedge each one of us in, our families, our friends, all that belongs to us, God, that you would in, just recognize with us those that, are, that we, are, we are for, those that we stand for, those that we pray for, the different cities, the nations, God, that you'll continue to shine upon all of the prayers, that you'll continue to show yourself mighty. God, you said perilous times would come. That's not something that's been hidden from us. But you also said that your glory would be seen upon us, and you said that you would be with us, and you said that you would never leave or forsake us. Remind us of what you've said. Remind us of who you are, how your awesomeness carried them through seasons of drought even the ravens you caused the ravens to take care of the prophet by the brook god yes lord you rained down manna from heaven to feed them god you took care of them you caused their feet to say, stay the same size and their shoes not to wear out god you took care of them just like you take care of us your promises are for yesterday, they're for today, they're forever, for forever. You said you would raise up a remnant, even in the end times, the end of times, the last of the last. You said you would raise up a remnant. That we would move, that you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh. That your sons and daughters would move in the power of your spirit. We thank you, Lord, that... As the day approaches and as things start to get more obvious that you're coming and that you're, that heaven and earth and, and all the signs and wonders and miracles and everything are just whew, coming into view, that we will discern by your word and your presence where it is that we're to stand during this time. The prayers, give us the prayers. You said interceding by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in us, even in moans and groans that cannot be uttered. God, give us those, those prayers in your spirit, in your presence, seated with Christ, making intercession. God, we pray for every need, every need in this nation, the United States of America, where we're standing right now, the other nations represented in the earth. Maybe there's others on here representing other nations. We stand agreeing that the goodness of who you are would shine through every dark scheme, every diabolical plan, every plan of man, that you, Father, would be glorified. We declare your name as Lord of Lords and King of Kings, as the great I Am, as the El Shaddai, our more than enough, our mighty conqueror. We speak to those places that are dry, that are evil, we speak to those things and we call those things that are not as if they are. We say, come forth salvation, a great mighty calling in this earth for lost souls. That the cross would 
would be the message of the hour, that the message of faith, the message of salvation, the message of hope, that we would learn how to speak edification to one another, encouraging prayers of faith, mighty prayers, prayers of healing, that the dreams and visions, God, of you would be sent into our midnight hour, resurrection glory would be manifest as in our physical bodies, mind, soul, spirit, and body born again. No disease, no sickness, no illness, no lack, no dementia, no memory loss, no skin disease, no disorder, no imbalance, none of it, God. Just whole and healthy, filled, recovered, glorified from the head crown right there, that, that highest of hairs on the head to that toenail on the tip of the toe and everything in between to you God heaven open open windows open plans your will be done north south east and west right now in Afghanistan that diabolical plan all the way to the United States and the different countries and nations we say be exposed and we call forth heaven's angels and hosts and the witnesses of heaven and the manifestations of the brothers and sisters in, the, in these areas, these regions, to manifest in strength like Samson. We pray strength into every mortal body that is in a situation of having to fight, of having to endure hardness. We speak that good soldier into them by faith right now that they will endure. Oh, Jesus, may they feel your comfort everywhere in this earth, everywhere, God, every hardship, every heartache. May they feel your comfort. May they feel your protection. May they feel your strength and power and equip each one from the youngest to the oldest, to the richest to the poorest, to the smallest to the great, greatest, to the, the smallest of creatures breathing in this earth, all the way to the seniors passing on, God. Give us that strength that only you can give. Visit us, God, each one of us, with the power of your Holy Spirit. Yes, salvation in this life, salvation to this earth, to all that will say yes, God, even the hardest of hearts, fallow ground being broken up, wicked, evil rulers falling to their knees, repenting. Yes, God, set the captives free from those unborn babies in the womb, God, all the way, all the way to those that are in prison cells being held for their faith, ready to be persecuted, beheaded, those that are standing, defending, good for the good, for, for you, God, for those that can't speak, those voices, God, those babies' cries, those children's heartaches. Oh, Jesus, that you would make a way in this wilderness. That's just how good you are. You're our way maker. You're our promise keeper. You're our light in the darkness. It's who you are, God. God, a double recompense to those that have suffered emotionally, physically, mentally, against their will, God. A double payback of your blessings, God. Yes, Lord. Emotions being healed. Minds being mental... Men, mentally mended, God. Yes, Jesus. Spirits being born and souls being revived. Dry bones in the physical body being restored to youthful days. Creative miracles, signs and wonders coming forth in our bodies, in our souls, in our relationships with our families, in the marriages, in the homes. Miracles, new beginnings, fresh starts, Recovery, God, may testimony after testimony come forth in the earth. And the splendor of who you are be displayed across the skies, in the cities, in the fields, our confession being what an awesome God you are. Give us a confession that supersedes our situations and our circumstances, that we would have praise on our lips and thanksgiving in our hearts. Teach us how to glorify you and praise you in the storm. Teach us how to praise you in the storm, God. We want to be more like you. We want to understand your word. God, bring understanding, clarity of purpose. 
sound minds, secure hearts and faith. Oh, strengthen us, Lord Jesus, in the power of the might of who you are. Yes, God, we pray for the feeble. We pray for the saints across the world. We pray for our brothers and sisters. We pray for those lost souls. We pray for our enemies. We pray for the enemies of you, God. We pray for the enemies of, of those, the injustices that are going on, God, that your justice would prevail, that your vengeance would be greater than any human mankind idea or invention, that all that you have would supersede all that we are, God. Open up the heavens, pour out unto us, angels of heaven come, armies, angel armies through this whole earth, around us, around all that is us, fight against the unseen forces of darkness, prevail for those children, for those babies, for those, for the women, prevail for those that are in war, those that are being held against their will, those families that are waiting on a phone call, prevail for it all, come, minister, be with us, fill the earth, oh Jesus, send your angel armies, Dispatch all of heaven's angels, legions of angels, to help, to manifest all that's you in this earth, to show us, to reveal to us. You said, aren't they all ministering, ministering messengers to those that are to inherit salvation? We are the inheritors. We are your people, your ambassadors, your sons and daughters, your kings and priests. We are your children. We're citizens of heaven. We give you praise today. We praise you with all we have today. We say yes to your plans. We say no to our plans and yes to yours today. Forgive us. Forgive us our sins. Have mercy on us, God. Forgive us. May a great forgiveness come to this earth. Those that are angry at us or jealous or unforgiving, Lord, forgive them. Make right what is wrong. Correct the errors. Bring justice, God. God, we pray for those that are in hospitals right now doctor's offices, clinics. We pray for them, for divine healing against this COVID, against cancer, diabetes, heart disease, against all these things, Lord, mental illnesses, blood disorders, chemical imbalances, anything, God, tumors, cysts, God, any named disease. Right now we come against any named disease disease or virus or sickness, any incurable thing, we say no to these things in Jesus' name. We're going to believe your report, God. Your report will manifest in miracles of wonder. Yes, Lord, suddenlies, cures, answers, remedies, no more COVID, no more sickness. It'll leave just as fast as it came in. We arrest it in Jesus' name. We say no to it. No. No to it from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet in this earth, everything that has breath, being healed, being satisfied, not going hungry, enough food to feed every living creature and every breathing, living person, enough food, no more hunger issues, no more. This threat of a famine, God, I pray that you overthrow that in the abundance of the wealth of this earth, God that you will suddenly sprout up things out of the ground and drop things from the heavenlies, whatever you have to do, God, that we will be filled, that our stomachs would be filled, that we will survive just simply because you are who you say you are. You are. You fed them supernaturally. You can feed us supernaturally. We, are, we belong to you. We are yours. 
Oh, Jesus, those that are homeless and in the woods and in the streets and have no direction, no purpose, addicted to drugs, filled with hatred, unforgiveness, hurts and pains and rejection and scars. I pray a revival to those places right now by the mightiness of who you are, your mighty hand, reviving people, this generation, those that are lost, those that are straying, the prodigals, the backsliders, the waywards, calling them, coming clean, coming to their senses, laborers, hands and feet, workers in the harvest, bringing them home, speaking words of the power of your spirit to have them change their minds. God, recover them, the outcast being used of you, every person that's ever felt rejected in your kingdom that feels like they were nobody or an outcast. God, raise them up as the mighty ones. Raise them up as the frontline soldiers that win this battle in the end times. Yes, use them for your glory. Yes, God, you said it. The ones that were invited had too many excuses. So you sent your servants out into the highways and byways and you called forth for all that would come. May that calling come forth for all that will come, that they will be obedient, that we will be obedient, that we will desire to serve you more than serve man or serve this world. Help us to be mindful of who you are, of your word, of your spirit. May justice prevail in every situation, God to the marriages and the families. May there be a great recovery, newness to those prayers being answered, friendships coming forth in the homes like never known before, godly businesses in the marketplace. Yeah. Godly positions of leadership. Godly positions of leadership in our Congress with our politicians, in our schools and classrooms, God, that teachers that pray, yeah, teachers that know how to pray, students that can listen, God, keep our children safe, Lord, send angels to the bus stops, cause us to rise up in neighborhood watches and watchmen and not being afraid to knock on the door, protect us from all evil. Let us be voices. Let us say what needs to be done. Justice seekers. Yes, God. Yes, God. Make us one with your word and your spirit. Truth keepers glory walkers we love you we honor you today God <laughs> give us this day daily bread spiritual and natural give us this day our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all forms of evil. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. From the north, south, east, and west, from the unborn to the seniors crossing over, everything in between, sea to sea, valley to mountain, city to city, woods and jungles, fields, skies, the atmosphere of all of earth. Your word says, may everything that has breath praise you. Your word says that you cause the sun to rise on the just and the unjust. Your word says that it's not your desire that even one would perish but that all would come to repentance, that all would come to the saving knowledge, the knowledge of salvation, of grace, of truth. Empower us, equip us, raise us up, cause us to be bold, give us strength, courage, confidence, fill us with faith, the faith you've given us, God, give us the increase, the, the, the way, God, show us how to 
how to increase our faith. Show us how to exercise our faith. Show us how to give us that hunger and thirst and desire to read your word. To know, know you more. To be one with you. To be intimate. To be devotional with you in the mornings and the night. Oh, Jesus, you are worthy. Bless our families. The blood covering upon all of us. We plead the blood. By your wounds, we are healed. All of us, by your wounds, the blood, we are healed. We are whole. Our families are delivered. We are set free. We are overcomers. Not overcoming. We have overcome more than conquerors because you are our conqueror we are who you say you are god all of us every one of us have your way in our lives we do we declare and proclaim the blood of christ just like you said no plague would come near their dwelling no disaster none of it hedge us in god those that are working evil or, or willing it or emulations or thinking it or emotionally feeling it God bind that up and send forth your love in each one of their directions God bind up their plan arrest it Lord protect us Father protect us from evil the abundance of who you are we just come against every generational curse lie all the past the mistakes of the family of the bloodline we say no to them no to diseases no to darkness no to deception no to generational decurses we proclaim the generational blessings that belong to us dna of christ we are abraham's seed all blessings are ours all of them all of them inherited through salvation all the blessings the land the families the good health the favor going in being made the head advancing loving god being a friend to god being one with god serving god every blessing belongs to us bless our homes bless our families Bless our friends. Bless the church. Bring the bride to full array, Lord. Bless. Bless, Lord. All that is us and all that pertains to us. Because that's just who you are, Father. We give you honor today. We seal up this prayer. We pray you settle it, God, in all the earth that everything that has breath will begin to praise you like your word says. That every cry, even the heart's cry, you know, you, you see the heart, God. You know the heart's cry, even to that one or those that can't shed any more tears, to the pain, the hardness of their hearts, God. We say, have your way, Lord. Mend up and heal those places. Every cry in this earth, every prayer, God, in this earth, every plan of heaven in this earth, all of your word from Genesis to Revelation, all that you are, Jesus, you paid too great of a price for us to be in lack, for us not to understand. Fill those voids in us, God there be any unlearned unrecognized unrepentant any places in us that are obstinates that are not willing god break through break through father get our attention before consequences have your way open us up like floodgates flood into us lord rivers of life abundant life everlasting life kingdom truth give us those keys teach us and advance us how to walk in authority with you how to pray for one another that the prayers of a righteous person prevail much 
God, that we would pray those prayers, that we would believe our own prayers, that we would believe you, that you can do exceedingly and abundantly beyond what it is we could even think we're praying, God. Have your way, an outpouring of your spirit, of your word, the manifestation of your kingdom this day and every day that follows. We will not empower evil with our words, with our thoughts, with our actions. You are so much greater than that. You have always come through and you always will. For us who believe in you, for those who choose you, we have everlasting life. We have the seal and guarantee of your spirit all the days that we walk here. Our, that's our freedom, our way in, our friend, our comforter, our advocate. We're sealed in our foreheads with the Holy Spirit, the mind of Christ. We are overcomers. We will prevail. Darkness has no place. Darkness has no place in us, around us in our homes, on our jobs, with our families, in our cities, in our nations. No place in this earth. Nothing greater than God. There's nothing greater than you, Lord. Nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Raise a banner, Lord. Raise the standard. Let's see if I can find something real quick. We're going to close, but I want to Hold on, sorry. I thought I heard something. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. I thought it was in Psalms 18, but I'm going to take a look and see if I can... Um, Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna go by real quick. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see here. Just one minute. Keep praying. Keep praying. It's coming. I want to make sure I have the right version of this before I say it. It's in a. Yeah, it's Psalms 18. It is Psalms 18. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Um, okay. Whew. Yeah, Psalms 18. I have a different version, but in the King James, Psalms 18, 11, He made darkness His pavilion. His canopy around Him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe, lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them. And before that verse that I had heard in my spirit, it says, verse 9, he, bo he bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his pavilion. His canopy around him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Oh, is it? So awesome. So awesome, Lord. We reverence and honor you. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Worthy are you, God. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you for your answers in our lives today, in the lives of our loved ones, everything we're standing for. We pray for our enemies from your command to pray for them. This is your word to us, God. In obedience, we pray for those who spitefully use and persecute us. We pray for those that are enemies to us, God. We say, have your way, Lord Jesus, in each one of our hearts and every one of our homes. Dispatch your angels, just as you said here, you rode on a chair. You made darkness your pavilion. Equip us, fill us, light our way, teach us and lead us. With you, all things are possible. With us, it's impossible. Even to grow in our faith, it's a challenge without the leading and direction of your Holy Spirit and your presence. Oh, empower and equip us. Great is your name. Father, you are faithful. Thank you for hearing all the sounds of this earth. Thank you for advancing the kingdom here in earth, for open heavens for protection, for oneness to you. We love you and honor you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Ooh, seal our prayers. Settle it with us and our families, our friends, our loved ones, the nations, our military, our police force, our hospitals, our doctors, our first responders, our workers, our teachers, our parents, the parents of the children, church leaders, government leaders, officials all over this earth, those that are fighting for good, those that put their lives on the line, those families that have lost loved ones, the orphans, the widows. God, we just put it out there today. Help us, teach us how to stay unspotted from the earth, from the world. God, the things of this world, thank you. Teach us how to walk faithful and obedient to your word as Christians, as being born again to truth. Lead us in the way we should go. Yeah, revive us today. Equip us, God. You are worthy. You are our king, our prince, our mighty God. Hallelujah. This is your day, God. Forgive us, Lord. Be merciful. Show us your glory. You are who you say you are, God. Our neighbors, we pray for our neighbors. Fill us, Jesus. Our animals, God. Teach us how to be good stewards over what you've created, God. Teach us how to be mindful of things that we're supposed to be mindful of. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for hearing us today and answering. We expect, we have spirits of expectancy for your answers in the earth, to see it in days to come, to see answers, God, of only you. Raise us up, sons and daughters in the earth, empowered by you, by your presence in your word. Increase our faith, show us how to exercise it, show us God, teach us, lead us, guide us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Manifested glory, your goodness, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right. God bless you, love you. Thank you so much for agreeing in prayer. He is worthy. Healed, whole, sanctified, set apart, set free. Yeah, from the crown down, totally healed. No weapon form. No weapon form, no demons, no darkness, no disease, no deception. The light of God flooding our entire being. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Love you. Bye-bye.